hey guys, Louie here and welcome to the weekend. Today I want to talk about stacking on a budget. Yep, this is for people that uh, are curtailed in terms of their cash flow, but they want to develop a really nice stack. Maybe not a stack like this, but maybe a stack of uh, generic silver, um, maybe a stack of gold, maybe a stack of sovereign coins. Um, I just brought this out to give you a little eye candy of uh, what you can achieve if you set yourself on a budget and you contribute, you know, regularly to the silver gods and maybe some gold as well, although gold is so much harder on a budget. At the end of this uh, discussion, I'm going to get on to uh, the internet and we're going to see where we can find the best um, deals for somebody who's looking for smaller purchases, okay? Now, uh, what comes into play uh, with smaller purchases, and, and you guys all know this, I think, but the new guys may not, is that you really have to look at your total cost of purchase per ounce when um, you get out there and start buying, whether that is at the LCS, that is at a large retailer, it's peer to peer, it's Instagram, it's eBay, it's everywhere. What are you paying per ounce? And um, are you, uh, you know, keeping that cost per ounce down? That, that's our ultimate goal. That's the most important thing, as I indicated uh, in a video, which I'll link below. The most important thing is accumulating at the lowest possible spot price. Uh, I'm in the camp of believing that that's important. All right. Now, if you think of silver is going to $100 tomorrow, that may not be important to you. But uh, silver tends to move in uh, in segments, in waves, and it tends to build highs and then higher highs and then drop and go back up. But anyway, um, you know, I would rather be in uh, $25 silver um, out the door. Uh, looking for $35 silver out the door than in $30 silver hoping for 50. Uh, but I'm getting too far into the weeds. All right, let's talk about the most important things. And again, we'll, we'll get on the internet in a minute and see if we can make any of that come true. Um, you have got a budget. I am just going to assume that it is $100 a month. All right, and if you can't put $100 a month aside, then uh, you may want to look at cutting something out of your budget or your lifestyle. Uh, maybe it's Starbucks. Uh, you know, maybe it is uh, that lunch you eat out every day, which is starting to be like 15 bucks. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, the, the car you drive, the gas guzzler, um, whatever it is, re rebid your insurance. Um, take a look at the phantom charges, the vampires that you have on your credit card, but try to pull out a hundred dollars a month to put into precious metals. Okay, that is the premise. Now let's go forward and say I have a hundred dollars and uh, uh, I think I'll do gold a little bit later uh, in the discussion, but I, and I want to buy silver. Um, now you may not want to buy this kind of silver. You know, the, these are you know, somewhat more exotic pieces, which I have bought um, because they, they command a premium. And when the market is hot, these things go up fast and bring higher premiums. Uh, when the market is soft, you know, generally people don't pay up for this kind of thing. So it's more of a long-term commitment. And there's nothing really on the table here of this high premium silver there we go, um, that you'd want to take into the LCS and dump for spot, okay? That would, um, you know, if someone does that to you after you die, I hope they rot in hell because <laughs> uh, we have not trained them well. We have not told them what's in our stack. We don't have an inventory and they don't know what to do with it, okay? And hopefully they keep it forever. But if you're going to indulge in premium bullion bars, vintage bars, um, classic, classic sovereign coins. Here, I'll show you one of these. Um, if you're going to indulge in classic uh, sovereign coins and you put a little bit more money into them, then you certainly want to get your money out 
or you want to be sure you sell those before um, you bite the big one, right? And I think about that more and more lately. That's called the Charioteer from 2017. Isn't that pretty? I believe it's got edge lettering. So that's the kind of thing. You don't you don't want to go to your LCS and try to sell something like that. They're, they're going to give you a spot or a dollar over or maybe even a dollar back today with the premiums dropping so fast. But you may want to build a stack of just nice generic bars. Um, that's a... That's a half kilo, but again, I, my taste is exotic, and this is um, this is actually Royal Mint Bullion, which is harder to get than you think. Ah! <laughs> Hold on, I got my fish hook. I got stuck. Uh, let's see, and let me get back out and get back on the stack there. Okay, back to the premise of um, $100 a month. Now, the first thing you'll want to consider is, uh, let's say you're shopping online. I generally find the best prices shopping online, but when I shop, I don't leave any stone uh, unturned. I find the best price online. You may have a relationship with your LCS. Uh, they have, may have a melt bin that they'll sell you for a couple dollars over spot. And you may just, uh, that may work out fine for you. I typically find the best deals online. So let's talk about that first. Um, when you're shopping online, of course, uh, it used to be uh, free shipping for anything over $100. Many companies are now doing free shipping for over $200. Some companies $500. Some companies $1,000 you need to spend before you get the lousy, you know, five to eight dollar shipping charge waived. Other companies charge shipping no matter what, like Gainesville Coins. That's why their prices tend to look a little lower. If you're buying online um, on YouTube from Vermilion Enterprises, uh, he does charge shipping on top of his ultra low prices. So you have to weigh that all in. But generally, you're going to want an order of $200 if you're going to avoid the shipping charge. And $200 today would probably buy you eight ounces of generic silver, or if you're lucky, maybe um, a fill, eight ounces of Philharmonics or, um, you know, a lower premium sovereign coin. But let's just say they're generics for now. So 25 into 200 is eight ounces. And uh, so for the first month that you save the $100, I think you should probably do nothing. Uh, now, again, you could walk into the LCS. He could be selling... Um, um, constitutional for 17, 18 over. Uh, that's possible these days with the premiums dropping. Um, but let's say you're shopping online. You really don't have time to scurry about the town looking for uh, an LCS owner that has great deals. Um, you're pretty much going to want to save that $200. So month one, you would do nothing. You put that $100 in a coffee can, wait till you have the second $100, and go ahead and make your purchase of those eight uh, bullion coins, generic rounds, etc. Now comes the issue of sales tax. Excuse me a second while I take a slurp. It's very early here. Uh, now comes the issue of sales tax. And uh, in my state, the, um, the sales tax rules are $1,500. They have been enforcing those for a few years now. Uh, when they first imp imposed uh, the sales tax rules, um, I thought it might crash the market. I thought it might change the market. But strangely enough, uh, it just kind of rolled into everyone's thinking. And uh, now everybody knows in California, there is uh, there's like 7 or 8% sales tax on silver up to $1,500. Of course, uh, California is in the minority. Actually, the majority of states do not charge sales tax, and there is a movement to remove uh, sales tax from, uh, from bullion purchases in some of the states that do still charge it. But um, in California, it's $1,500. Okay, so you've got a problem in California. We'll come back to that because I know m most of you don't live on the, uh, the left coast. Um, but let's say you live in a state where the sales tax uh, rules are uh, $600. I think that may be the case in Florida. And, um, 
you know, you've got $200 to spend. What I would say is you do not want to pay the sales tax. You want to keep saving. I would probably save that $100 a month um, for six months until I had the $600 because a, a 6, 7, 8% charge on your order is going to blow your cost per ounce out of the market. Okay, well, you don't have six months. You're worried that, um, look at the toning on this little guy here. That is actually one of my favorite little extruded bars. New Hope, gold and silver. Um, let's say you don't want to wait the six months, you don't like that advice, you can't drive to a neighboring state, etc. Well, there are a few places that if you're in a um, if you're in a sales tax state, you can still buy metals without sales tax. I'm going to give you the first one, and that is the coin shop in Canada. They do not charge sales tax um, to uh, U.S. residents. Their prices are often a little bit higher, but sometimes if you're looking for that sovereign coin and uh, you know newly released, and you may find that their prices are similar in U.S. dollars to the U.S. market than uh, JM Bullion, for example. Okay, the coin shop in Canada. Um, now we're going to keep going. Uh, another place that you can probably avoid sales tax um, is um, is going to be uh, LPM Hong Kong. Uh, the, the the shipping charges and the currency conversion charges are pretty high there. Another place you can avoid it is the Royal Mint um, in uh, England, which is where uh, these bars come from. And, and there was there was a premium on these bars, but one of the advantages to buying bullion uh, in the UK is that you do not pay the VAX as UK citizens do, and they will not charge you sales tax. But you will have to pay a conversion fee on your uh, a conversion fee on your money when you wire it there. Okay, where else can we get a deal without sales tax? Well, right now on Instagram, uh, people are not charging sales tax. So you might want to check out Instagram, check out all the sellers that Silver Bean Counter uh, typically um, promotes. Uh, sometimes they have coins. I have seen Silver Eagles. I have seen all kinds of coins on Instagram. It is peer-to-peer. -peer, but if you're going to do that, um, you really... You really have to know the person or know the reputation of the person that um, you're buying from. And uh, you, you can figure that out as well. Um, I don't typically buy on Instagram or sell on Instagram because I think um, the sales tax uh, Nazis will be coming after those people. Uh, some people sell through Zelle uh, without sales tax, peer to peer. Again, I think we're in a very small window here where uh, you can still kind of avoid it in some places and even make those smaller purchases. All right, guys, so that is the sales tax discussion. Uh, and uh, now let's go ahead and get on to, well, just a, a word about gold real quickly before I, man, that is the most beautiful bar ever. See, I actually paid $30 an ounce for this bar, which, you know, might be crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just love something so much, it's in the perma stack until somebody that wants it more really wants to pay up for it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I paid 30 bucks for that. What the heck? Here's some other silver that um, isn't typical. Uh, this is uh, German. German Olympics, I believe that was. I think that might be a 0.8. So it's oddball silver and, uh, you know, your, your LCS is, is not going to want to is not going to want to pay you anything on this. I got these at uh, Gainesville Coins, edge inscribed. Very cheap, very cheap. Sometimes Gainesville Coins has a sale of the day, and you can pick up weird stuff like this if it appeals to you. And of course, I have an eBay store, so I can resell stuff like that, usually at a profit. The other place I often get uh, silver that uh, can be can be stacked or uh, it's not going to want to focus that can be stacked or can be resold is uh, at the melt bin I love the melt bin at my LCS man last time I was there 
Um, I think I got 20 or 30 ounces and there were Libertads in there. There were classic uh, Canadian coins. Uh, really nice pickup. And I'm, I'm waiting for a little dip here. I need to see the two things I'm waiting for at the moment to make a purchase in silver are um, I need to see the GSR hit 83 again. It hit it last week. That was in fact a low um, of the week. Um, and I want to see a 22 handle on silver before I start accumulating anything of significance. Um, but getting back to gold, okay, gold, you got a hundred bucks. How much gold can you buy? Well, not much. You might be able to buy, uh, you know, a, a one gram. Uh, you know, could you buy a two gram? No, probably not. But we're going to check the premiums on gold. Gold is another thing that is uh, is best bought in larger not in larger weights. Um, but sometimes you can find a deal on that. We're going to take a look at where those might be if you only had a hundred dollars to say to to. <laughs> to, to spend. Um, but uh, generally on gold, yeah, you're going to want to save up two, three months, maybe even six months and get the largest piece of gold at the lowest premium you can. I'm not a big believer in sovereign gold. I know a lot of people are, but uh, I'm looking for generic gold, uh, easily uh, recognizable and easily um, verifiable. Um, and, uh, you know, you, you, you can keep the $550 uh, quarter eagles. It's just not my thing. This is not the channel for uh, silver eagles and gold eagles. I think people have, you know, lately lost more money on those products than they have made, whereas generics have done, you know, pretty damn well. And if you were trading out your eagles when they were bringing $35 and buying $25 or $27 silver, um, you're happy you did that at this point. Same thing with constitutional, which I told you the premiums would drop on that eventually. And here we are back in the basement for uh, constitutional premiums. So uh, those two things, uh, American sovereign and uh, constitutional, you got to buy on the low, the, the low premium. And right now the premiums are coming down uh, substantially. So you you know, now you're going to hear my attitude change a little bit towards uh, towards uh, silver eagles, gold eagles, buffaloes, you know, etc. There's something I bought uh, many years ago. Bought a bunch of these line of Englands, uh, the first in the Queen's Beast uh, series. Uh, I mean, I bought a lot of these, and uh, as I recall, I paid too much for them. But uh, you know wait long enough and now these are bringing a nice premium over what I paid which was well over spot at the time but back to gold I think gold is going to be you know a lot like that sales tax issue you got to get over a $500 hurdle possibly that may be the way to stack gold unless we can find uh, some lower premium not not really low premium but lower premium fractionals so we'll look at the uh, grams we'll look at the one one hundredth gold uh, we'll look at the generic gold uh, possibly over the sovereigns but gold is definitely gold guys and unless it's really some weird exotic uh, uh, you know combination alloy from another country um, you know, I, I think you're going to be okay not going with the premium product, the, the U.S. Gold Eagles, etc. Okay, let's get online and let's see how you too can buy some beautiful silver. <laughs> the, uh, the Coin Shopping Network uh, this morning was selling um, one gram uh, gold Ace of Spades, uh, one gram for $79.00. Uh, if you do, if you do the math, you find out that that's double the gold content. Don't buy that. <laughs> all right. Even if you get it for $69, don't buy that. All right. Let's go shopping. Guys, I am over at Bullion Exchanges and I want to give you an example of what it is you don't want to look for when you're buying smaller quantities. I'm here on the sale page and uh, what you'll see is as you look at some of these items, um, you'll see them indicated, perhaps the price is acceptable to you, but you'll see them indicated as as low as. Okay, as low as. Let's find another more generic item. Um, 
Here's one here, uh, Perth Mint Kilo Bar, 809. You might think that's a pretty good deal, but it's as low as pricing. When you get into the website, you'll find that the 809 is only for larger quantities, and you will get a price of 819.50. So the first thing you want to look for when you're shopping at the major retailers, uh, as opposed to Monument Metals. Now let's go to the deals page. Um, and I want to show you that they often have, uh, wait, I got to go back to the lead in page. Any quantity pricing. Okay, when you're buying smaller quantities, this is really key. Any quantity pricing. Let's go ahead and shop the sales that are any quantity pricing uh, with a, a goal of buying $100 to $200 worth. Uh, what is their shipping policy? Uh, minimum uh, shipping is $199. So you got to save up an extra month here. Let's say you have $200 to spend and you will not pay for shipping. And hopefully you're in a state that doesn't charge sales tax. What do they have? Oh, they have one of those cool Engelhard bars, $2,600. Uh, okay, you can get, now we want that any quantity pricing. So let me go back to find only that. There it is, shop now. And what's in the any quantity pricing? Uh, these are all as low as, let's see if they honor the any quantity. Oh, I see. It said as low as in the lead in page, but when you get into uh, the Maple Leaf page, uh, here we have 27.34 for um, Canadian Maple Leafs. Okay, so um, that's 365 over spot, any quantity. Uh, you couldn't get eight, but you could get seven. Let's see how much better than that we can do in the generic category. Uh, 2680 for um, Mint ID. Don't want that. We've got some kangaroos, 2744. Uh, more kangaroos, 686. That seems pretty low. What is that over? Uh, 375 over for the kangaroos, basic basic sovereign bullion. What else do they have? Uh, here is a warrior round 2594. How much is that over? Uh, they show spot as 2369, about right, and that's 225 over for those. Um, I'm hoping to get something for 25 bucks. Let's see if we can find anything. Uh, 26. Uh, here's that 19 times face uh, constitutional. Uh, let's see if that's any quantity pricing. Oh, look at that. The dimes, the mixed bag, is cheaper than... Um, what's the difference here? Tubes of 90% junk. $194. Oh, I see. That's a larger quantity. Okay, let's get off of that. $26 for the Krugerrands. Uh, $27. Philharmonics, $26.78. Uh, 10 ounce Royal Mint Bar, $272. Those are pretty bars, as you saw in my stack. Um, and uh, no, they don't have the any quantity pricing on those. Those are beautiful bars if you wanted to save up for three months. And uh, there you'd pay uh, $276. Uh, come on back. All right, Kookaburro's out of stock. Where did I leave off? Uh, notify, notify, add to cart. Okay, seems like uh, we have run out of any quantity pricing. Generics, uh, don't buy the Christmas rounds unless you're going to melt them. Okay, I think we've... Uh, We've uh, exploited this. I'm going to stay on silver for now. Let's try somewhere else. www.bold precious metals. And here we go. Um, the King Charles. Uh, what are they charging for the new Britannia just for the heck of it? Uh, $26.87, but not any quantity prices. You'll pay $27.57. But uh, these premiums are definitely much lower than they used to be. Did I get the sale page? Uh, you saw this Britannia bar in my stack. Uh, this goes from 277 down to 272. It's a good long-term investment. 
beautiful. Um, ooh, the hundred ounce is twenty five sixty seven. Okay, I got to get off. Um, I got to get off the expensive stuff because we've only got we've only got two hundred bucks to spend, and not much else there. Okay, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Um, let's see what's up at Hero Bullion. All right, uh, I got the maples. Lots of maples. Uh, let's look at the deal page. Got any any quantity pricing? I'm not seeing it. Let's look at the generic bars. Ooh, Hero Bullion um, at two fifty seven thirteen. That's any quantity pricing. That's a pretty cool bar. Pretty cool little bar. That's a poured bar. It's got poured lines. Not even cast. You can tell by the pour lines that it's poured. When you don't see lines, that means it's cast. So two fifty-seven. That is dollar uh, ninety-nine over spot. I've seen a generic as low as a dollar twenty-five over spot, but a dollar ninety-nine is not bad. But uh, you would need three months of savings to pick that little bad boy up. Um, their shipping is probably two hundred dollars as well. I won't take the time to go prove that to you. Uh, twenty six dollars for buffaloes uh, any quantity pricing so we're getting close but we can't get our eight yet we still only got seven what else do we have on the second page and uh, Rand refinery 1971 I could definitely find that cheaper um, if you're gonna buy gold in assay which I love um, you don't want to pay more than 50 bucks over uh, over spot for it uh, 25 even better uh, let's find somewhere else to shop uh, sometimes the big dealers do have deals so let's try um, JM bullion not that I shop there but uh, they've got uh, C deals okay what are they pushing the silver out at uh, let's see uh, 299 over for the Germania bar uh, it's 62 for the Sunshine Mint. This is a beautiful bar. <clears throat> I'm not buying at this price, but the Sunshine Mint bars, man, they are really pretty. Uh, 100 ounces. What do you got in the one ounce zone? Uh, see how much more they're charging for the kangaroos? $29 here. Uh, here is uh, British Mint, $29. And Buffalo's 28. Not seeing anything there, guys. Let's try Provident. I never go there. It doesn't even remember the search results. Uh, let's go to the deal page. Um, the Egyptian series is very hot, and uh, that's that's kind of a collectible there. Okay, the 10 ounce RCM bar, 278. They've got generic kilos, 830. Um, one ounce platinum. Oh, we weren't doing that. Okay, let's see what's in the um, the one ounce um, rounds. Fractional one ounce rounds. Okay, what do we got? Uh, twenty six eighty two, twenty seven eighty two for the uh, varied mint bars. Twenty eight for buffaloes. Yeah, no, no deals there, my friends. Okay, we got to go somewhere else. Let's try Gainesville coins. Um, Gainesville. I'm sorry. Uh, Gainesville coins. One second. And come on, Gainesville. Okay, flash sale. This is where I bought those uh, German marks on a flash sale from Gainesville. Okay, here we got $25.56, $1.75 over, but you're going to pay for shipping. So we're back up to $26 on the Buffaloes. Here are some past deals. Uh, they had one ounce Eagles at $2,117, uh, Golden Assay at $19.85, um, and uh, 10 ounce uh, Morgan Bar. Nope, nothing there. Let's keep looking. Uh, let's go over to eBay. And I hope you have an eBay account. Um, I do hope also that um, you you uh, use the eBay credit card. The link below. You'll get 3.3% off after you spend $1,000 in a calendar year. 3.3% off makes a big difference, especially if you're buying gold. All right. So let's look for um, 
Well, let's look for one ounce, uh, one ounce rounds, one ounce uh, silver. Uh, let's just see what comes up. All right, there we go. There's the lowest one we can find. Free shipping, 30 bucks an ounce. Even with your 3% off, you're just not going to, uh, you're not going to do well on eBay today. You're going to have to get into the higher quantities. Um, and uh, that's too bad, but there are, you know, like 10% fees. All right, we are over at uh, BGASC, um, and let's, uh, are we in the, uh, are we in the U.S. website? I believe so. Uh, we're going to look for fast shipping. Uh, they probably have a $200 minimum as well. We'll look at the deal page. All right, here we go. We got those buffaloes, $26.82. Uh, five ounce. Oh, there you go. So you could pick up a five ounce prospector. Let's see if they've got any quantity pricing. So this is oh, this is pretty good here. If the shipping cost is um, is over one hundred, you could definitely pick this up. And one thirty one sixty puts you at twenty six thirty an ounce for a beautiful Silvertown bar. Those are quite collectible. So uh, let's see what the shipping uh, charges are, um, FAQ shipping. And you have to buy 199 So again, this, this 199 is going to, you'd have to find something exactly at the right price. So here, you, again, you would have to, to pick these up, uh, you'd have to save for a couple of months. Or if you saved for three months and you had $300, uh, no, that wouldn't do it either. But uh, that, that's a really good buy if you can figure out uh, how to avoid the shipping and the sales tax. Uh, let's go back to sales at BGASC. And here we have uh, JBR 830. That's overpriced. Uh, not too much on the sales page, huh? Uh, Eagles, any quantity pricing, 2682. So um, 23, 4, 5, 6, 3 over. Uh, for eagles, so you could pick up at least seven of these uh, with your $200, but I guess you'd have to buy eight to get the free shipping. Okay, let's take a look at gold really quickly, because I'm not doing terribly well with silver. Um, let's do in-stock gold, and what they got there. All right, uh, one ounce Val Valcambi, 1992. Yeah, I find it's cheaper to buy um, on this kind of thing on eBay and get the 3.3% cash back. Uh, I typically land a lot cheaper than that. Uh, how small a piece of gold can we buy? Uh, I think we can put the weight here. Uh, weight, uh, troy ounces. Um, well, let's look at a tenth. Okay. Tenth ounce of gold, the Britannia, nothing wrong with that, but I'm not paying 233. Uh, what else do we have? 232 for a kangaroo. Uh, trying to get under $200 or at least pretty close to it. Uh, here we have the Eagle at 299. I've seen that for $60 cheaper. Uh, let's go to uh, 1 one hundredth. I don't know if that's 1 one hundredth or not. Uh, no, that's one tenth. Um, let's go to a. Oh, I don't want that. One second, get out of that. Uh, let's do. Well, let's just type it in the search bar. Uh, one gram gold. Uh, looks like they're not selling one gram gold. Let's try one one hundredth gold. Here we go. Okay, so um, this is uh, something I have bought before. I paid much, much less for it. I think I paid about $17 each um, directly from Scottsdale, as I recall. So we got to go over there and check what they're selling for the one gram gold. Uh, these one one hundredths, uh, don't let the picture fool you. They are teeny, 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 weeny little things, but uh, they make great little incremental stackers. And you would be paying uh, 3122 uh, per ounce if you got 100 of these. But this reminds me to head over to Scottsdale where they make these. And let's do that. Um, Scottsdale 
Silver? Give me one second here. Yeah, found it. Cool. Uh, let's do, you got any sales? They don't have sales all that often. You're more likely to find it cheaper on eBay when they're liquidating something. Um, but let's do gold bars. Okay, and we want generic gold bars. Okay, so here is the same bar at Scottsdale. And uh, they are charging, uh, if you buy 100 of these, you can get them at 28 27, 2008, 27. Uh, it's a very small piece of gold, though. So uh, I, you know, I don't think I would spend my $200 on that. Uh, let's see what happens as we go up in size. Uh, two gram is 143. No, that's no better. Uh, five gram, 337. Um, and we're getting up to the bigger pieces. Yeah. Uh, 2050, 2017. Yeah, if we're going to stay in the small bars, uh, let's just take a look at the, uh, well, uh, let's see, 143 is pretty much nearly double. Uh, 337, now we're getting cheaper on the 5 gram. Uh, how much is that? Uh, 650 flat shipping, 500 ships free. So you're going to have to save up for four months to buy one of these little five gram bars. Uh, why don't we do the math? So um, 32.15 divided by five times uh, 351. This is how much per ounce you're paying. Uh, 2,256. So uh, that's not too bad, actually. If you really want gold and you save up for four months, uh, you can grab yourself one of these five gram lion bars. Uh, that's about the best gold deal I can find in the bargain bin here. Um, uh, yeah, because uh, the one tenth, um, let's see, let's go back to the one tenth. So, I, so this will cost you, uh, uh, 2250 per ounce. If we go back to uh, bullion exchanges and look at their gold, so remember that 2250 per ounce, and we're going to look at uh, one tenth, uh, one tenth ounce gold here, just as a rough comparison. 10 gold. Uh, they have got, uh, uh, so here is uh, 3,114 uh, one, per ounce if you want a random year uh, Libertad. Those are pretty, by the way. Um, but still, I like 2,200. Oh, here we can get uh, the one-tenth Eagle for 2,270 per ounce. Um, so I guess that's kind of, I guess I'd probably rather have the Eagle um, if I was buying fractional gold, then the Scottsdale in assay. And uh, Britannia's 215, 2115 per ounce. Well, anyway, I think you get the comparisons. Uh, you're going to pay about 2200 per ounce if you're in the fractional, um, fractional gold and uh, you're uh, you know, around the one-tenth, trying to get to two to three hundred um, so that's what that is. Anything else we want to see? No, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. Um, you know, there is uh, plenty for sale here. I'd like to see prices a little bit lower, and I'd like to see that GSR touch uh, 83 again. Um, and I think uh, you know the generic silver is is going to be a screaming buy here at a buck 29 over ounce. So if we can get a 22 handle on silver. And we can get a buck fifty over ounce. We'll be in at about twenty three fifty an ounce. I don't think you can get hurt too bad at that price. If you're looking for gold, I think you're just going to have to really watch hard for the fractionals if you're on a low budget. Good luck stacking and saving your money to acquire precious metals. It does uh, build up fast, and uh, you you can have a stack if you want it. Just watch the cost per ounce. Okay, guys, Louis signing out. Have a great weekend. Bye now.